Anna, and what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to talk about a celebrity couple that just got married last year and turned the Hollywood upside down. Well, actually, there are two couples, Rain and Kim Tae, and of course, we can't forget about the Song Song couple, Song Joong Ki and Song Hye Kyo. So today, we're going to see them post marriage. The thing is, there were such Hollywood stars before they got married to each other, right? That we well, couldn't get enough information out of them even before they got married. And now that they are, we want even more information, don't we? So I'm so excited to be talking about, well, what they've been up to all these days. Well then, let's get the conversation going right now on Celebrity Talk. I'm sure our viewers are very curious about what these superstars have been up to. Rain, Kim Tae, Song Joong Ki, and Song Hye Kyo. But let's first start with the talented, beautiful ladies, Song Hye Kyo and Kim Tae. Oh yes. Why don't we start talking about Kim Tae first? Well, she gave birth to an adorable baby girl last fall, right? Well, since then we haven't really heard much about her doing about and whereabouts. But mm -hmm. until finally last month, she popped her head out on her social media to say, say hello to her fans. Well, she also wrote that she's shooting an ad and that she hoped to return soon to acting as, she, as soon as she can. I saw that post as well. She looked beautiful, dazzling beautiful, but um, that's not surprising, right? She's Kim Tae after all, of course. I feel like Jasper's like extra excited, <laughs> me, don't you think? I mean, not just his co-stars, but a beautiful, beautiful actress. Now, I have to agree with Jasper. Absolutely, Kim Tae was radiant. This was her first public outing since she gave birth six months ago to a baby. And it seems like she was there to endorse a brand uh, that she's, of course, the face for. I was one for one very excited to see Kim Tae in the public. Guy. I agree as well. Like, she just gave birth, but she looks so adorable and gorgeous. <laughs> well, do you know that March 29th is Kim Tae's birthday? So at the press event, there was a surprise set up just for her, a birthday surprise, and it was very sweet. And she also restated that she hoped to return to acting as soon as she can, maybe whether on TV or better in a movie. Well, I'm sure a lot of fans across Asia are very, very excited about her. Wow, give a round of applause. I'm a Kim Tae fan myself and I'm very excited to see her back in the screen right now. And also Song Hye Kyo stepped back into the limelight with a new commercial as well. Yes, she did. She was chosen to be the face of a well-known Korean cosmetics brand. Well, she posted a commercial for the brand on her personal social media and it got a lot of attention for her fans across Asia. Are you surprised? I mean, Suhigo was always beautiful, but after Descendants of the Sun, her popularity is just mm. unrivaled. The thing is, when she stepped up to, uh, at this press event to promote her brand, she was dressed in pink head to toe. Kudos to stylist for getting a vibrant look that is so appropriate for the spring season. She looked like cherry blossoms, didn't she? <laughs> also, that got a lot of attention are her earrings, her accessories. Now, that was a fan favorite, and everyone wanted to get their hands on it. I still don't know where she got it. Well, <laughs> if uh, if I'm correct, we're gonna stand back in a new production as well. So I'm very excited, and let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Like Jasper said, fingers crossed, we'll be holding our breath for their comeback production. Now, in the meanwhile, we're very curious about one thing, right? What does married life look for these superstars? The thing is, in the case of Song Joong Ki and Song Hye Kyo, we've spotted them on dates on a number of different occasions right here in Seoul, right? Not just in Seoul, but in, in January this year, the Song Song couple was seen walking down a cafe side street in Tokyo, Japan as well. So some fans took photos of them, and even the braver ones went up to them and got autographs. And on March 27th, they were in Busan this time, so fans spotted them right away at local Gopchang restaurant that they like and after that they're just strolling around the area <laughs> happily like as a couple and in love and like any other couple they're just like us celebrities the thing is uh, Song Hye-kyo and Song Joong-ki tried to keep their couple uh, love life a secret for such a long time I feel mm. like it would be liberating to be just strolling down these streets holding hands very much in love of course the fans were quick to make comments about these exclusive photographs saying I'm so jealous I'm envious of their relationship we support <laughs> and root for you and all of the above <laughs> it's nice to see them being so affectionate to each other Song Joong-ki Maybe younger than Song Hye Kyo, but you would never be able to tell, right? And also, 
Rain and Kim Tae was spotted in Japan. They made on uh, they went on a little trip to Japan. This couple is really cute together as well. Well, Rain and Kim Tae went to Tokyo on a trip this past February. Well, the fan who posted a picture of them sitting down at a round sofa mentioned that they were just laughing and having so much fun just sitting down and talking to each other. You know, the fans across Asia wanted to know everything about what they do, where they stayed at. So one fan even posted on the blog about the hotel they stayed and what it looked like, even the interior design of the hotel. <laughs> I didn't know that. The thing is, the sleuthing skins, the skills of fans never ceases to amaze me. They're better than the paparazzi, if mm. you ask my eye. <laughs> the thing is, they're more dedicated to get these exclusive photographs. And the thing is, Rain and Kim Tae were also spotted in that famous neighborhood in Seoul, Itaewon. And the thing is, they weren't really having any like an extraordinary day. They were just at a restaurant, enjoying themselves. And of course, the fans got the exclusive snapshots. It's all over the internet, and it was the talk of the town. A short little trip overseas to Japan, eating out at a mod modest restaurant, local restaurants. Uh, we are so happy to see them out and about doing normal, ordinary things. I wonder if it's harder for Rain and Kim Tae to have a date night since they have a baby. Right? Yes, they're doing their best for parenting mm. and I think they're enjoying every moment of it. Uh, Rain and Kim Tae have been getting countless requests from the baby care product companies for sponsorship and even more to star in baby care TV programs. But they're politely declining all the requests because they want to keep their baby girl out of spotlight. And for Kim Tae, she's even keeping her schedule very lightly to spend more time with the baby girl because I think it's important stage for the baby's growth right mm. of course rain is always out there whenever he can be to to be with his girl and I'm glad that they're keeping their daughter out of the spotlight we can all, all, all understand it right we want them to be happy and healthy uh, throughout the time May they live happily ever after. Is that what you're getting at? Yes. All right, guys. Well, we do want all the details of that happily ever after, don't we? Now, I wonder what the men have been up to or how they've been keeping busy when they're on duty. Now, actor Song Joong-ki, from what I understand, hasn't picked up a project since the film The Battleship Island last summer, right? Right. I think Song Joong-ki doesn't seem to have any acting projects yet. But did you guys know that he was an artist in fine arts before he started acting? What? Yeah, he, was, he is a fine art artist. Well, he went back to his roots for the exhibition held at the museum in Wonju City in Gangwon-do province. Well, the exhibit is called Art of Everyday Object, where artists transform and reinterpret objects of their everyday life. So Song joong -ki displayed a piece which is skates from his short track days back then with other skating gears and that must have a special meaning to him, right? Mm. I saw that actually. His display was uh, there to symbolize the hard work mm. and unfinished dreams. And great news is uh, the, it, uh, the exhibition isn't finished yet. It goes until September 2nd, so make sure you go check it out if you're in the country. And meanwhile, Rain is coming back with a new production. Yes, he is! <laughs> <laughs> he stars in the TV drama Sketch, which is airing very soon in, in upcoming May. Well, in the beginning, he wasn't very sure if he's going to do it, but we were very glad to hear that he is choosing it for his TV comeback. Well, he'll be playing an ace detective in violent crimes who tries to uncover a mysterious death of his fiancée. Rain and Kim Tae, Song Joong Ki, and Song Hye they were superstars before they got married, but I feel like their popularity and star power may even have doubled or tripled after their I do's. Asia has its eye on you guys. You know, there used to be a stigma that when celebrities got married, then they would slowly moved out of public size. But I think that's not the case anymore, like Cheju, who recently got married, and she even promised that she's absolutely committed to continuing her work as an actress. I think getting married and marriage life opens an actors into a whole new, different perspective, and that must enrich their performance, right? Mm. I think you're right. And also, you know what we'd love to see from these two couples today? We'd love to see Song Joong-ki and Song Hye-kyo back in 
uh, one production together, and Rain and Kim Tae in the same production together, right? Descendants of the Sun season two. Can yeah. I get that? Oh, I That'd love that. <laughs> yeah, I'll look forward on that. <laughs> well, you know, of course, there are a lot of celebrity stars out there and couples out there that we want to see more of and hear more of. So why don't you guys let us know who you want to know more? Oh, that was so sweet, Anna. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us this Aww, week. Thank you. Bye -bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.